Hello sunshines, let's get right into it. Welcome back to another video. These are some meals that I eat pretty much every week for lunch and dinner because I honestly just, I don't know how to make anything else if it's not frozen. Anywho, as you can see here, we are starting off with some noodles. Now, sometimes I actually use shirataki noodles instead, but I need to finish these rice noodles because they've been with me for a while and that expiration date looking at me a little bit too harshly. Now, the sauce for these is pretty simple. I don't use measurements because it depends on how I feel, but you know, sometimes I have a bit of a loose hand and that comes at a disadvantage. Oh my God, uh-oh. For a lot of these meals, I will be using frozen vegetables. This is because they are convenient, cheap, and have a lot of nutrients because they are frozen at peak ripeness. And they're honestly the number one reason why I even get a lot of veggies in. And the ones I buy tend to just be plain veggies with nothing else added onto it. Once the noodles are done, I pretty much dump everything back into the pot like you should that one person who doesn't respect you or deserve your energy, love, and affection. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And at this point, you can add whatever you want. More sauce, different veggies, tofu, peppers, I don't know, whatever floats your boat. And then when it's time to plate, I try to make it look fancy by adding some sesame seeds, and there you go. <laughs> this is super good. I mean, I made it, so I'm biased. I always see Diana <laughs> eat her noodles with a bowl. Mmm, this is so good. I probably could have made more sauce. Now this next meal, I don't make it all the time, but I know I should because it tastes really good. Some veggie broth, red curry paste, ginger, bunch of vegetables, red pepper and onion. One, two, three, four. I'm saving you from seeing me chop these veggies all the way because this knife is so rough and I know it'll trigger someone with how bad it is, but good knives are expensive. See what I did there? Now this is going to be a bit rough. Yeah. Eventually I put the heat down a little bit because it was way too hot and here I am cooking with veggie broth I do that a lot to give my food flavor and because I consume most of my daily fats in peanut butter and avocado anyways But feel free to use oil instead Zucchini? I love zucchini Zucchini? I love zucchini The way Disney's pasta plate lives in my brain rent free is astonishing Now once the zucchini has been chopped into tiny pieces I throw it into the pan with the chickpeas and I start to add the other ingredients By the way, I know now that I should have added in more coconut milk probably from a can and maybe other things like cumin or rice vinegar But this is what we've got A wee bit of this paste in Just some normal curry powder A teeny bit of cinnamon Turmeric Some garlic powder I want the zucchini just to be a little bit more soft and then it should be good. And here is our beautiful curry in all her deliciousness alongside the vegetables that were frozen and then steamed in the microwave. I probably could have added in a little bit more coconut milk and it would be good. But overall, pretty good. Also, this here is my plate literally from tonight where I added in some basmati rice and I made it a little bit better by having some minor adjustments. This third meal is something I make quite a bit, our spaghetti squash pasta. I didn't show it, but for the squash, I tend to stab it with a fork and then I put it in the microwave for about six minutes and cut it open. And if it still needs more cooking, I put it back in until it's forkable. I need to pronounce that correctly because that can sound inappropriate and this is the wrong platform for that. Anywho, <laughs> everything else is pretty easy. I added a sauce, veggies, and a form of protein, and that was it. Feel free to add vegan cheese, olive oil, maybe some fire, garlic bread. It's really up to you. <laughs> Can you guess what we're making? No? Okay. Can you guess what we're making now? <laughs> This meal is 110% inspired by Mina Rome. She opened my eyes to how delicious this recipe is when I ate like her for a day. By the way, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check out that one after this one. Por favor. And maybe subscribe. I don't know. Up to you. That was not a good cut. Oh well. When it comes to tofu, I rarely press or marinate it, honestly, because I get a little lazy and I also worry that if I leave it marinating in one sauce, then I'll want something completely different for the week. But if you don't have that worry, then feel free to do that and it'll probably turn out really good. We are back at the chopping block with the only raw vegetables I ever eat. Bell peppers and red onion. 
these are going to be part of my toppings for today and I just cooked them down a bit to make them softer. I also cut up baby carrots because that is the only shape of carrot I buy and I refuse to get the big ones. And then we Power Rangers assemble our spring roll. First, we wet the rice paper on both sides, then we spread the hummus, add in the leaves from outside and the sea, and follow that all up with our other veggies and tofu. And then we get to roll it up. Sometimes I will add some other toppings like peanuts, maybe a sauce, or this one right here. We're adding some banana peppers or some spice, a little bit of a tangy tang. Once we've rolled our joint, I mean spring rolls, we plate them and add a dipping sauce. For today, I put sweet chili sauce, but sometimes I'll add a delicious peanut sauce. Oh, it is so good, man. That's gonna be tomorrow's lunch, I promise, I promise. Looking at it now, this rainbow salad has reminded me. Happy Pride Month, everyone. I'm sending you all lots of love. And the other toppings I forgot to mention. Now, what makes a salad for me is the dressing. That's what gets it to restaurant salad level. I know there are dressing haters out there like my best friend Virginia, but that is not me. Once I add the dressing, I put the chopping block I use for the veggies on top and checky, 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 checky. You have it all good. And you're gonna clean it anyways. Trust me, I don't only eat salads alone. I have some popcorn and I might have some fruit later. So good. It's a dressing. You gotta get a good dressing. I like this one and I like this one. Both from Trader Joe's. If you can get your hands on them. If not, whatever dressing you like. I'm gonna keep eating. Also, here are some other examples of what I'll put on these salads. I'll put vegan chicken tenders, avocado, cauliflower, apples, all that good stuff. These salads are customizable, delicious, and aesthetically pleasing. This meal is also from the video where I ate like YouTubers and the one who inspired this one is Linda Sutton. The recipe and the instructions are pretty easy, but you will have to set aside a little bit of time to do so. And the first thing I did was set up our workstation. So we had the cornstarch, unsweetened almond milk, and our breading mixture, which was straight up cornflakes, chicken seasoning, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt. Once I chopped up the tofu, I started our process. I first put it in the milk, then I put it in the cornstarch, then I put it back in the milk, and then I put it back in the cornstarch, until finally I add it to the cornflake mixture where I coat it all, and then I will add it into the air fryer. After that, I'll repeat until all of my tofu pieces are coated in delicious crispy golden goodness, and I'll start cooking it in the air fryer. While that was cooking, since I didn't have enough space, I decided to chop up my potato and make them into little fries. I did not film this well, but you get the whole gist. Chopping up some potatoes and chucking them in the air fryer. And then I finally plate it with some extra vegetables and I had some barbecue sauce on the side. My camera died. I don't plan on fixing it. Now this last meal, you know her, you love her. She has stuck with you through thick and thin. It is our tofu scramble. As you all know, I love tofu scrambles. I will never stop eating them. I had it on my own birthday, for gosh sakes. Tofu scrambles are perfect for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What, what, what more can you ask from a meal? She is truly all that, okay? Now for actually cooking it, the process is simple. I cook it in veggie broth. I add in the tofu. I fork that up, fork that up. You know what it is. Then I add in our seasonings, which are Southwest Chipotle, garlic powder, and turmeric. And then once it's all cooked up, I'll add in my vegetables. Normally it's the regular frozen vegetables, some spinach, maybe I'll add in some chickpeas, who knows? Anything, it's all up to you. And on this day, I went with grilled vegan chicken, bell pepper, and my potatoes that I air fried, and also some aguacate or avocado with everything with bagel seasoning. That was our last meal. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm wishing you guys a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. I bid you adieu, au revoir, adios, and aloha. Bye.